Welcome to a live attack here of NSO versus the Steady Grinding. Uh, we're in the last 17 minutes of war. It's 80 to 81. I do feel we got the upper hand here. Um, our team here has our 1, 2, 4, 5, 8 still left to attack, and a couple others down a little bit lower, 16 and 17. The enemy team only has their number 3 left to attack, so I think we're sitting in good shape. Oh, they have somebody down here at 25 left to attack. Uh, we'll go and do a couple of uh, attacks here while we wait for some live ones. Um, first of all, a good one here for our Anonymous Souls people. Here's a Town Hall 11 attack on a Town Hall 11. Uh, this is our number 2 King Dan with a very solid 3-star. And he's going to go with the Bowler Witch Healer combination. Uh, it seems like most of the up Town Hall 11's attacks are either air or they have some type of Bowler Witch combo, usually with some healers involved. So what he's doing right now is going to the corners to create a funnel so they can get his, the bulk of his bowlers into the middle. Okay, we got the jumps down after to, to get into the second level here. And then the clan castle comes out here with them. But you see what he has. He has the top kind of already funneled up and the bottom is really going strong. Top is weakening out a little bit. Bottom is really going strong. Uh, one thing I noticed that he that he had in there is a little bit of damage was their dragon did a little bit of damage, but uh, overall it was just overpowering. He, he had the queen in the middle there, some, uh, you know, just uh, just overpowering the, the the middle bases. We've got some leftover Teslas here, which up there at the top uh, doing some still funneling. There's no real defenses up there. However, there the mortar on the top left is going to give that witch or could give the witch some problems if we don't get it taken out before it gets there. Down at the bottom, we've got some about four bowlers, about three witches, and a heal, or a healer's going. That right there will sum that up. I mean, there's just nothing left, not enough defense, only two left. We've got a war attack going on here live, so we'll go to this one. Uh, looks like we've got uh, King Dan in here at number nine. So back to back King Dan's. And again, looks like he's doing the same strategy here corners with the witches' bowlers to create the funnel. In the middle, he does have the poison to help out the CC, he still has two jumps. And a bunch of rages left. I think this will be a. This is looking really good here. The funnel on the left side is not very strong right now, but the witches are still going, working on the wizard tower. Wizards are a problem for witches. The middle's looking really strong. He's wiping through that with jumps and rages. He's got the king queen over there. He still does have on the right side a little bit of action with some witches. Bowlers just destroying the middle. I, I, I'm surprised when they did the update that they didn't do something with bowlers. They did it with miners instead. Not sure why, but uh, again, this is uh, looking really strong. He has just plenty of bowlers. He's got a heal on some of the bowlers there. He's got the witch working around the side here to help clean up the outside trash. Top right is a queen and a, and a witch with a healer. That's going to destroy that side over there. All that's left over there is a mortar. Then it'll work its way down to the bottom. Queen has yet to use her ability. We've still got a couple of healers over here on the left working the witches. We've got a, he a healer working with the bowlers and the king and the warden. Queen working with one healer and a witch over there to, to funnel this up. They're down to two defenses. This is going to be a three-star. Um, really just a matter of time here on what's going to happen. So Dan with a really solid uh, war fours. Three-star in their six, and now clean, clean up and getting that final star on their number nine. Go back to the map here. Now we're looking at uh, 8281. Yeah, we should be able to get this. We still have our 1 and 3 and 5 left to attack. All they've got left is their 3. Um, I don't see anywhere where he can get 2 stars, so that should do it. I just don't feel that their 25 is going to do any uh, there is going to do any damage to us and, and risk this at all. Uh, he'd have to attack up and go up to our number 8 and I, I yeah, that's just not that yeah. We'll see. All right, sorry about that. All right, so we'll just wait here for the next live uh, war attack here. For the people on Anonymous Souls, this is my higher base uh, right here. Uh, you'll see that I've basically have added no Town Hall 10 defenses to here. All I've done is upgraded my Town Hall 9s to a Town Hall 10 level. I, I did add a few walls um, to it, but basically right now what I'm working on is walls. Once I learned out that you shouldn't, that how much war weight that mortars have, I stopped upgrading my, my mortars. You'll see I have a lone level 7 mortar sitting here where the rest of them are at level 8. 
and I do have a lone uh, level 8 wizard tower intentionally because uh, mortars and wizard towers add so much war weight, I just don't feel that they're damaged. I, I think, uh, myself, I think mortars are the weakest defense in the, in the game. You'll notice I've added no, ex or no infernos or the third expo for the fact that they create so much war weight also. This is how, um, one reason why, when we look at the war where I sit in war weight, even though I have all the strength of a, a Town Hall 10 on my attacks, I'm still only sitting here at level 20 in our war weight, um, which leads me to attack usually somewhere around that level. Um, they attack 21 this, this war, and then 26 as I showed you earlier in the last video on the Govaho strategies. 11 minutes left in war. Basically, uh, it comes down to we're going to win. <laughs> um, th this clan here is a is is a 50 out of 50 members kingdom where our war log we've got 380 85 wins one more win we're going to win two here a good active clan uh, we do have a couple of newer members i think a couple of them have come in from before and left to come back to see all the people that opt in war um, if you're not basically in this clan if you're not uh, if you're not upgrading a hero you're in war so wait and see if we've got anything else here So I, I foresee us to be hitting their 10 and 8. Might loot here at the end a couple of them, but we should be hitting their 10 and 8 soon. I'm not sure what we got going here. Doing some friendly challenges. Always a good idea to do friendly challenges. It does give you some practice. You don't lose your troops, especially for trying out new strategies and attack strategies. Uh, as far as the Anonymous Souls crew, our, our Town Hall 11s need to work on the Bowler Witch attack. All of our Town Hall 9s and 10s, I think the Govaho... Uh, should be something that all of them could, uh, should be looking at. Uh, basically, you, you can three-star. If you're a Town Hall 10, you should be able to three-star pretty much every Town Hall 9. And most lower-level Town Hall 10s, especially if they don't have the Infernos uh, with the Govaho strategy, if you're Town Hall 9, you should be able to... Uh, a good chance, as long as your hero's at a reasonable level then you've got your troops upgraded, you should be able to uh, three-star all Town Hall 9s with your... Um, with the Govaho also, in my opinion. So, If you have want some ideas on how to do the Govaho attacks, we do have them displayed on our some of the other videos that I've done on the YouTube channel. Sorry about any sniffs I got going. I got a little bit of a cold here. It's been minus 4, minus 8, minus 13 degrees. I think today is actually at a positive temperature today, but that's what you get when you live in South Dakota. Could put some music on the background if you wanted to, but I uh, just felt that would be annoying a little bit. What? Again, what I'm using here is my iPad, and then I download that onto YouTube, so I don't have the best audio or capability as far as being able to do different things with this setup. There's just really no way to broadcast Clash of Clans on YouTube unless you want to... Uh, put it on your computer, get some blue stacks and some other things to make the computer kind of think that it's uh, working uh, with a uh, mobile device. So we don't choose to do that. Don't need all the spam and all the other things that come in with those blue stack type things. And 8 minutes left, 21, 8 minutes 21, and we are up 82 to 81. We should have a rash of attacks here coming up with our 1, 4, and 5. We still have Gordy and D-Laws. Don't know if they're going to loot or what they're going to do down there. Um, I could show Batty's three-star. I mean, no, uh, well, Scout. He had a six-pack last war, and I screwed up the recording. But he did have he did have two three-stars. I, I will say I give him credit for that. Um, this war, he had a 93% and a 33% on his Scout. Appreciate him scouting for us. Basically took one for the team there. All right, let's see where we're at now here in the war. Nothing much has changed. I thought we'd have a little bit more spread out action. Looks like we have 18 people online, so we should be okay as far as attacks.
Oops. Sorry about that, guys. This is an adult clan. NSO is an adult-only clan, so... <laughs> they are from the UK. Interesting language sometimes. I kind of enjoy it. Makes me crack. Heard some words there that are never used where I'm from. <laughs> when I first joined in, oh, I don't know how long, many months ago, months, a year ago, I don't even know how long it's been. Uh, I had to actually ask him if it was acceptable terms over there, and apparently it is not, but it is in our clan, so. Oh, well, all good. Basically, this NSO clan is a bunch of UK people. Uh, I think we've got, a, uh, we've got Hanny, I know, is from Canada. I think we've got two or three uh, United States members, but the rest are from UK. I think, uh, let's see, is Sin still in this clan? Yeah, I know he was here until recently here. Sinister, I think he's from Texas. Uh, Epic is from California. Huh. Don't know what happened to Sinister. He was from Texas. He was a long-time member. I don't know if he's just out for a little bit, taking a break. Uh, we are full. We did have a couple of new members come in. Um, you're going to see, though, pretty pretty active clan. I will give credit always to Woodsy for helping me out with the Govaho attack strategy. Five minutes left. Five minutes and counting. You'll see here, I mean, we've two-starred all of their, I mean, all of their bases. Even their one and two. Here, I'll do a lychee attack here. I think he's going to go here, so it might get interrupted. I think he's still got another attack, if I remember right. Yeah, lychee and Bert. But lychee did uh, two-star here on their number one. I'll, I'll do a replay here until I see something live here. This is a 95% attack here. Notice he's got two loons there. I haven't watched his attacks. So I don't know what they're for there. I think they're just to draw in and try and draw a CC or get a cannon or mortar or something here. But again, this one is going to be bowlers and healers with a queen walk. That's what I'm seeing most of at the upper level town hall 11s. That you, it is something to do with bowlers, something to do with witches uh, and queen walks. You'll see that they use giants and, and not golems. The giants are faster. Um, they can spread out and give you a little bit more coverage. Golems, they sometimes just get too tanked at the walls and sit there and beat and don't do anything. Just so slow. You'll notice also that the EQ usage is not there. I don't recommend EQ, uh, EQs myself. Uh, they take up four spaces to destroy the walls that you need, where two jumps will give you more coverage and more, uh, just more area. And if you just use one jump, you can get in the same areas an EQ in most cases. An EQ uses uh, can clear out seven spaces. And, uh, or excuse me, a, a jump can do seven space, EQ can do eight, but rarely do you really need eight. But I, I prefer to use, save the jump and then use poisons or, or rage or heal or something else there. But you're going to see what happened is if he could have had some heals or just go with his bowlers down here at the bottom, this would have been a hundred or a three star, hundred percent. Oh, we got a live war attack. Let's see where we're at. That was a 95. Okay, here's their last attack. They're going on Leechy for a two star here. I didn't see this, but uh, that's their only hope is to two-star their or two or three-star this. This is their number three versus our number four, and he's going to go with the, again, queen walk, which is bowlers with healers. I think what he's trying to do here is create a funnel. So he's going to clear out one corner, do a little bit of walk with the queen. I'm assuming he's either going to come in with the Outer funnel down at the bottom right or the top left. Warden down to help with this queen. Uh, kill the CC and stay alive with the poison. We still got one more wizard causing problems over here for him. That one's cleared. This is their only chance. The two or three stars, their only chance here, and then we've got to fail a bunch. Yeah, here comes the troops down at the bottom. They're using giant again, using giants like I mentioned earlier. Uh, fail there. Wallbreaker failed. Didn't see. Didn't realize that the inferno would get his wallbreakers, and this should be end of this. That should end it. Bad planning on their part, to be 